Imagine waking up one morning to the news that a 3,000-meter fissure has opened up in Yellowstone National Park. What would the impact be? Picture this, an enormous crack, stretching nearly two miles into the Earth, appearing seemingly out of nowhere. It's a scenario that might seem straight out of a science fiction movie, but it's something that could, in theory, happen. Why Yellowstone, you might ask? Well, it's home to one of the world's largest active volcanic systems. This hypothetical fissure wouldn't just be an impressive sight, it could potentially trigger a series of dramatic geological events. Now don't start packing your disaster bags just yet. This is a hypothetical situation, a thought experiment if you will, designed to spark your curiosity and make you wonder about the forces at play beneath our feet. This isn't just a wild guess. It is a scientific exploration of a possible event that could drastically reshape our world. To understand the potential impact first, we need to know what a fissure is. A fissure, in geological terms, is a long, narrow opening or line of breakage in the Earth's crust, often formed by the movement of tectonic plates. Picture it as a gigantic crack in the surface of our planet, kind of like the cracks you might see in a dried-up lake bed, but on a much larger and deeper scale. These fissures are not just random cracks though, they are the result of immense geological forces at play beneath the surface of our Earth. When tectonic plates move apart or diverge, the crust becomes thinner and breaks apart, forming these fissures. This process is known as fissuring, and it's a common occurrence in areas of the world where the Earth's crust is thin and tectonic activity is high. But what makes fissures especially interesting, and sometimes a cause for concern, is their common occurrence in volcanic regions. You see, when magma from the Earth's mantle rises towards the surface, it can cause the crust to crack and open up, forming a fissure. This can sometimes lead to the creation of a new volcano, or it can result in a volcanic eruption if there's already a volcano present. Fissures can also be the birthplaces of new land. When lava emerges through a fissure and cools, it solidifies into rock, gradually building up new landforms over time. This process is how the Hawaiian Islands were formed, with magma pushing up through the ocean floor and solidifying to create new land. So, when we talk about a fissure in a place like Yellowstone, we're talking about a significant geological event that's a testament to the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet. So, a fissure in Yellowstone isn't an unlikely event, but what would a 3,000-meter one mean? Beneath Yellowstone lies one of the world's largest active volcanic systems. This massive volcano, often referred to as a supervolcano, stretches across two-thirds of the park. It's a geological powerhouse, a sleeping giant that has been quietly brewing for over two million years. The Yellowstone supervolcano is unique. It's a caldera, a type of volcano that collapses inward during an eruption instead of building up a mountainous peak. The Yellowstone caldera is vast, spanning over 40 miles across. Imagine a volcanic crater so large that it's hard to see its boundaries even from a high-flying aircraft. That's the scale we're talking about. Throughout its long history, the Yellowstone supervolcano has erupted three times. The most recent eruption occurred approximately 640,000 years ago an event that spewed over 1,000 cubic kilometers of rock and ash into the atmosphere. To give you an idea, that's enough material to bury the entire state of Texas in five feet of volcanic debris. But it's not just the past eruptions that make this supervolcano intriguing. It's the colossal amount of molten rock or magma that sits beneath it. Scientists estimate that the magma chamber under Yellowstone holds enough fiery liquid to fill the Grand Canyon more than 11 times over. That's an immense amount of potential energy, waiting, simmering beneath the surface. So what happens if a 3,000-meter fissure opens up in this region? Well, a rupture of that size in the crust could potentially destabilize the magma chamber. And if that happens, it could trigger an eruption of this sleeping giant. A 3,000-meter fissure in this region could potentially trigger an eruption of this sleeping giant. So, what would happen if this sleeping giant were to wake up? Let's delve into the potential impact of a supervolcano eruption, including immediate and long-term effects on the environment, climate, and human civilization. Imagine, if you will, the moment of eruption. A colossal plume of ash and gas would burst into the sky, dwarfing the scale of any fireworks display you've ever seen. This cloud would reach as high as the stratosphere, spreading across the globe and significantly reducing the amount of sunlight that reaches the Earth's surface. This is the first domino to fall in a chain of catastrophic events. In the immediate aftermath, the surrounding areas would be blanketed in a thick layer of ash. 
This would wreak havoc on local ecosystems, burying habitats, contaminating water sources, and making the air unbreathable for many species, including U.S. humans. Infrastructure would crumble under the weight of the ash, disrupting transportation and communication networks. But the effects wouldn't be confined to the immediate vicinity. The ash cloud would disrupt air travel on a global scale, grounding flights and stranding travelers. Remember the chaos caused by the eruption of Iceland's Ejafjallajökull in 2010? Multiply that by a thousand. Next, we'd see an impact on our climate. The sunlight blocking ash and gas cloud would trigger a volcanic winter, causing temperatures to plummet worldwide. This sudden shift could last for several years, devastating agriculture and leading to widespread food shortages. The long-term effects on human civilization would be profound. The strain on global resources would likely trigger economic collapse and social unrest. In a worst-case scenario, we could see a significant decline in the human population. Let's not forget about the impact on wildlife. Many species would struggle to adapt to the sudden changes in their environment. This could lead to mass extinctions and a significant loss of biodiversity, further destabilizing ecosystems around the world. Lastly, the eruption could alter the landscape on a geological scale. The caldera left behind would be a stark reminder of the power and unpredictability of our planet. But remember, this is a hypothetical scenario. While the potential consequences are indeed dire, it's important to keep in mind that our understanding of these events and their likelihood is continually evolving thanks to the tireless work of scientists and researchers worldwide. The consequences would be nothing short of apocalyptic. Yet, it serves as a humbling reminder of our place within the grand scheme of things and the incredible forces that shape our planet. Now let's come back to reality. Is this a likely scenario? As captivating as a 3,000-meter fissure erupting in Yellowstone may sound, it's important to ground ourselves in the realm of scientific understanding. Yellowstone's volcanic activity is indeed a fascinating subject, with a history that stretches back over two million years. And yes, it's true that the park has witnessed massive eruptions in the past, but these events are few and far between, with the most recent major eruption occurring some 640,000 years ago. Our current understanding, based on the meticulous work of scientists at the U.S. Geological Service Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, tells us that Yellowstone is not due for another eruption anytime soon. This is not a prediction based on guesswork, but on careful study of the geological evidence and ongoing monitoring of the park's seismic activity. So while the thought of a 3,000-meter fissure suddenly appearing in Yellowstone makes for an exciting narrative, the reality is far less dramatic. While it's an intriguing scenario, the chances of it happening are thankfully very low. So, we've taken a journey through a hypothetical disaster and explored the science behind it. We've delved into the world of fissures, these gigantic cracks that can form in the Earth's crust, and discovered the chilling reality of what a 3,000-meter fissure could mean for our world. We visited Yellowstone, a land of geysers and wild beauty that sits atop a slumbering supervolcano. This geological titan has the power to alter climates and reshape landscapes, a force of nature at its most awe-inspiring and terrifying. We've also grappled with the potential impacts of a major eruption, from immediate devastation to a volcanic winter that could plunge the Earth into a deep freeze. Yet, in the face of these hypothetical horrors, we've found a glimmer of reassurance. The Earth roars, but it also whispers. It reminds us that while these forces are immense and unpredictable, they are also part of the natural balance of our planet. While the scenario of a 3,000-meter fissure opening up in Yellowstone is intriguing, it's important to remember that it's just a hypothetical scenario. But it does remind us of the immense and unpredictable forces that shape our planet.